Today we're gonna talk about three big wins achieved by Rockstar in the recent days. And by the way, when I say wins, I don't really mean it. But anyway, we're gonna talk about new record for Red Dead Online, changes that were found in GTA 5, highly requested changes by the way, a new feature that Rockstar added like few hours ago. So first of all, you remember how many people were saying that GTA 5 expanded and enhanced this version for next-gen consoles, has no real improvements, no real changes, yes graphics is much better, but except for that there is no new content. But no, some important changes were found in this next-gen GTA 5 version, let me actually show you. Now quoting IGN, GTA 5 remastered which is now out on next-gen consoles has seemingly removed many negative depictions of trans people from the game including NPCs, an arcade item and transphobic character dialogue. Yeah, so they've made some changes and what is kind of interesting in the form of self-censorship. It's kind of something new for Rockstar, so just, just think about GTA 6 in the future, how it will look like. But anyway, you might ask, well, probably there were a lot of people offended by quoting now transphobic jokes and dialogues. Um, not, not really. From what I know, there were two people who actually mentioned this problem, this thing in GTA 5, and one YouTuber and one game journalist. And again, I'm not quite sure, but it seems like none of them is actually a transgender person. But anyway, one YouTuber made a video and he deleted this video pretty soon because he received enormous amount of dislikes and also some journalists made an article, also was not well received. But anyway, Rockstar decided to react because in some cases, like now, they actually listening to the community and they deleted this inappropriate content. Apparently, all content that is left in GTA 5 is absolutely appropriate, you know, family friendly and so on. There are no offensive jokes left in GTA 5. They are not laughing on different minorities, on different social groups, on pretty much everyone and everything. No, it's absolutely fine, but they've removed these kind of jokes. Another big innovation from Rockstar Games. Let me show you new tweet from them. They've made it today. Learn how to get most out of GTA Plus membership with our new GTA Plus guide on the GTA Online site. They tried to use GTA as often as it's possible. Plus, check out guides for GTA Online criminal careers, vehicle, blah blah blah. Let's go and check this guide for GTA Plus because, you know, apparently it requires a guide to pay for a subscription, which gives you nothing. Maybe in this guide they will actually explain why we should spend six dollars. What is GTA Plus? It's a scam. Like, boom, closed. <laughs> no need to read anymore. But you no, know, GTA Plus is a Grand Theft Auto Online premium membership delivering a series of ongoing and rotating member exclusive benefits from across the entire GTA Online experience each month to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S players. Monthly 500,000 bonus, insane bonus, if you don't know what Kyle Perico is. Oh, 15% 15 per <laughs> 15 increase on shark cards values. Like, oh boy. And th th then, <laughs> then they have an instruction how to actually buy this GTA Plus because apparently. Uh, you know, I think they sold not too many GTA Plus subscriptions and they were sitting in a Rockstar office and like thinking like why people are not really buying this awesome, outstanding, exclusive subscription service and someone said, oh, it's probably, you know what, probably because people are 
too stupid <laughs> to, to, to find out how to even buy it. It's like, oh yeah, problem solved. We're gonna make a guide telling people how to buy our awesome premium VIP subscription service. Must have. <laughs> I like how this character looks it's like oh no I i'm dead inside i don't want to wear this t-shirt so everyone would know that i bought gta plus like please delete me and actually there is a gta plus feedback thank you for being a part of the gta online community we keen on hear your thoughts on gta 5 here is my thought, it's a scam, change it, like, <laughs> stop, <laughs> please. But probably since I have not bought this GTA Plus, I'm not a part of GTA Online community, yeah. If you would like to leave us your feedback, please drop us a note on GTA Plus membership section of the GTA Online feedback page. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go to this feedback page later and will post my thoughts, what I think about GTA Plus. And with that being said, we are moving to the third part of today's news i don't know but anyway red dead online finally reached the lowest point in history like it's on the bottom completely and i'm not just saying it because you know i think so we have data to prove it let me actually show it to you so here we go red dead online steam db page yes it's for standalone and here we go lifetime concurrent players you see it was like 19,000 when they released red dead online standalone then it dropped significantly and boom june 10th of 2021 2964 players on average then it went up and was like more or less stable and it goes down 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 and boom new record 2,885 concurrent players and it's gonna be even worse because the number is decreasing. It's gonna drop significantly. And since we are talking about records, another record and you see this graph looks like pretty much like previous one, but it's a stock price for take two interactive shares and they are companies that basically owns Rockstar and they also reached historical low. Not historical, but uh, in one year period of time, it's a minimum price that they have on their share. It's not related to Red Dead Online, obviously, but again, I'm just saying that they are not doing great. Anyway, I told you about this three positive news. A lot of people are saying that I'm hating too much, that I'm too negative. But no, you see, three big wins in only a few days. How do you like it? It's awesome, right? And let me know what do you think about it in the comments. As always, thanks to all my Patreon supporters and thanks to everyone who already placed a like. Stay healthy, stay safe, goodbye.